word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, the great purpose of a pastor teacher to fill which is behind, which is lacking, so that the burden which is laid down upon his spirit to fulfill was the true purpose of Apostle Paul in writing for us in Colossians 1, 24 and 25. Our Lord has chosen him so that he has to go through the sufferings first. The same to same passage our Lord has told but for a little while I will cause you to suffer so that you should be perfected. It is not for telelio, but katakrizo in the Greek. And this word requires a thorough admonition of greatest stability. And this katakrizo, so that you can come now to be settled in the knowledge of Christ and established and could be worthy of great reward in the kingdom of God. For a little while, saith our Lord in First Peter 5.10, so that we could be well established, so that we could be well settled, and come to the praise of the glory of the Lord, and come back and look to the reality of the truth, so that it is no longer we tossed to and fro by the every slight of doctrine, but need to understand what it is to suffer for Christ. Suffering is what? Enduring affliction. This world doesn't love us. This world is the flesh. The flesh in return is a source to be tempted into this world so that we can get accompanied ourselves to the lustful patterns of the olds in nature. And who has known? Because the heart is deceitful above all things. And this is what you and I have to learn. You and I have to learn it is not to be suffered to this world so that we can perish off in our soulish manner. But we need to suffer so that we can get back to the reality of the knowledge of Bible doctrine, both grounded and rooted and settled in the knowledge of truth, which has been designed in the new man to be understood in righteousness and the truth of Bible doctrine. Therefore, dear brethren, every believer is a pillar in Christ because every church has to communicate the doctrine and every believer is a stone is a brick in that church and if that brick doesn't contain doctrine then that brick is waste therefore dear brethren endure suffering so that you can come back and look and understand the reality of the word we shall continue in the next step father we're grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with the word we pray that Lord God the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge sovereign Lord for we ask it in Christ's name father amen